get excited because over these next few tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my thread painting with DMC Etoile. So I'm going to be using split stitch for most of this. And as you can see, I've already done most of the darkest strands of the hair. Um, I like to show you guys when I'm mostly done with a section so you can see how it looks instead of just showing you a part when I start. So I always start with the darkest first and then I'll do the highlights next and I'm going to show you how I use split stitch to do this. So I'm going to start here and it's important that you use an even number of strands. I'm using six right now so that you can actually come in the middle evenly. So I'm going to do my loop here and then come up exactly where this last stitch left off. Like so. And once you get used to doing split stitch, you don't have to like hold it up and make sure you're going exactly in the back of where you left off because I can just kind of tell when I poke my needle through places. And for most stitches, when you go around a curve, you wanna make your stitches smaller so that the curve looks more natural. When this happens, because DMC a 12 will get stuck a lot, um, I just pull underneath to get the knot out and then make sure that all the strands are even up here. DMC a 12 thread is definitely more challenging than normal thread because it's a specialty thread, but it's the easiest of the like metallics and satins to use for sure. And it's sadly the most expensive, <laughs> but it's my favorite because it's just so subtly sparkly. All right, so now that I've done this strand coming down, I'm then gonna come back up in the other direction that I came from, just because it really could serve as the most threat. And I want to make sure that I'm as close to this outline as possible so that there are no gaps at all. But you also have to be careful not to cover up the outline, which 
can be hard, but I mean, you can kind of like go over it later. When you do these areas, you just want to make sure that they're flowing naturally and that you're following the direction of a hair strand. But I don't do too much like color blocking in one area. All right, getting closer. And I prefer to do like one line down at a time. And then if I need to do a second line of the same color, I do it next to it instead of doing both at the same time because I find that it just looks a lot better that way. Alright, we're out of this thread, so time to put on another one. And when you're doing this, the smaller the needle that you can use and the sharper, the better the results will be. So this is like the size that I'm using. All right, I'm actually gonna come down from here. final round and then we'll be done with this color I like to do it one color at a time rather than try and do it section by section because then I get confused honestly And when you're doing curves, it's the most important place to come in exactly with the hole that you left off with the last stitch.
and voila we're done with the first color and next video i'm going to be showing you guys the next step which is to add the highlight so stay tuned for more tutorials on this piece and thread painting in general thanks for watching